Okay guys, so I got all the parts that I needed to assemble the plasma cutter. So I just going to start with the aluminum extrusion bar here. The uh, 3030 series, uh, one meter length. I got them like $69 for 10 of them. Uh, so I just got 20, even though I only need 13 for uh, this uh, plasma cutter. The hardest part of this assembly is to make the thread at the end of this bar. So I test it on the first one and it's actually a lot easier compared to what I thought. First of all, I just going to use this uh, like M8 uh, tab. Uh, it's uh, very cheap. You can buy one set at the Harbor Freight for about $10 and they work really well on aluminum. I don't know about on steel, but at least for this purpose, it's worked really well. So this is one of the new bar without the thread. And uh, the tip of the tap, it just fit exactly inside this hole. So you don't need to kind of drill it. You only need to run it to make the thread. So let me just show you how I make the thread here with the drill. Okay, so first of all, you just try to find one of the table corner like this. It's kind of flat. And uh, you have the vise here. Just take this part out so you can still uh, turn it easily. So you have access to this handle and then you just use the kind of clamp to clamp this down so it doesn't move. Okay, so now I just take a bar, put it here and I just use these two pieces of wood as spacer so it doesn't damage the tube, the bar. So I put it here and just kind of like clamp it. Make sure that it doesn't move. Okay. Okay. So now it's really stay in place. Okay. Now I just put the tap on my drill. Okay. So I going to use some of the cutting fluid, cutting oil, so it clear out the aluminum more easily. Okay, so I just put a drop of oil on the bit, on the tap, and then just put it in here and uh, run it. Okay. And now you attach it with the uh, M8 bolt. It just go inside perfectly, and it's straight. Got the holes already like pre-made, so no problem here. I just need to do this for both end and for like eleven of those bar. But uh, I just want to do it on all the 13 bars so I don't need to worry about mixing up the bar when I assemble the uh, plasma cutter. Okay guys, so after threading the end of all the bars here, so here's the general idea of the base of the frame that I need to put together. So on each side you have two bars like this stacked on top of each other. Just you need the end to be threaded. These two bar, you don't need them to be thread, and you need a rail SBR twenty one meter length with the two bearing on on it on each side. So now I just use the bracket to like put the bars together and then install the this rail on the side like this of these two bar. So. Well, let me just show you step by step how to put them together. Okay, for the bracket uh, here, you have two pair. One is with like four bigger holes. The other is with uh, four smaller holes here to install the motor bracket. This is to install the paste spacer. Later, just uh, to use to like adjust the tension of the belt. So this will be the front of the machine and this is at the back where you install the motor. So just two on one side, and the front side like this. And uh, 
The other two will be at the back like this. First step, what I'm going to do is just I'm going to take this two ball and the bracket like this. I'm just going to put through the like, MF ball 30 millimeter length here. So to stretch like this, just to fix on the ball. And another one on the lower part to fix on the lower ball. It should be a fit exactly tight. And then you do the same for the bracket at the back here. Okay, as expected, this fit really nicely and like the two bars really like just press against each other nicely. So I do read on that side also. Okay, so now these two bars are fixed to the bracket. The next step is to install this rail on these two bars. So to do this, what I'm going to do is just uh, I'm going to use those drop-in uh, nuts, uh, T-nuts. So I can fix them in here in the slot of these two bars on this, on this side. So I just want to use some of the 10 millimeter M6 board. So these are M6 T nuts for the 3030 series. So I just got to pre install the nuts on this rail. Okay, so now to install the rail on here, just make sure you have the two bearing on it and uh, align all the nuts kind of like parallel to the slot and pull them down all the way. So just slide them in. Now you generally need to tighten the bolt here. Okay, so now it's installed. I'm just going to do the same thing for the other side.
Okay, so the next step is just to fit these two ball here to the bracket like this. And to do this, I just want to use the M5 drop in T nuts and uh, about 28 millimeter length uh, M5 bolt. So I just want to just pre install the nuts on this. Okay guys, so now I have the nuts of pin so on the bracket here, I just want to just slide the bar in here, push the nut in and just turn it a few turns, so the nut kind of turn and uh, lock them in, you don't need to fix them yet. Okay, so the next step just I have to fix the bracket on the bar. And uh, the best way to do this is just uh, I have to align the face of the bearing here to the end surface of this bar. So to do that, I just want to install the uh, big bracket like this one uh, on the bearing first, and then uh, I want to use this two bar here to connect them together. That's why I have this axis kind of like orthogonal to this rail and then I can align the inner surface of this uh, bracket to the surface of this bar so it's always aligned. So let me just do that. So to fix this I just want to use some of the 30 millimeter length M6 bolt. Okay, so now I just want to try to slide the bolt in the bar, just fix them loosely. The lower one first. And I'm trying to try to do it on the other side, so it's kind of balanced. And then I put this one on top, and I do the same. Okay, so now I can tighten the bar on one side. Okay, you can see that it kind of slides like really smoothly. So what I'm going to do is just I'm going to push it to one end. And make sure that the bar here slide inside on both sides.
the, the next step is just to fix this bar roughly in the middle of the frame. You don't need to be exact on this one. So what I'm going to do is just first of all, I'm going to fix them to the frame kind of like this, slide in on both sides and then use the emit nuts bolt to fix this bar to the bracket. So now the base of the frame is done. Let's move on to the next step. Just I'm going to install the other bars here, cross, and then uh, install the rail. Okay guys, so I just realized just uh, install the rail uh, on the board, just it's already installed on the bracket here, it's pretty hard. So I just take out the two bar here and install the rail before I put them on the bracket. Okay, so now the base of the frame is pretty much done, the X and Y axis, so I just continue on the Z axis. <laughs> 